YouTube. Um, I'm going to be showing you today how to uh, upload your videos in HD with Sony Vegas. I'm not going to be showing you how to get Sony Vegas, I might do it in another video too. But I'm just here to show you a few things that happen. You can do it in Windows Media Player, that's the kind of like the head thing with that. I use Vegas, it's great. I deleted Vegas 9 because Vegas Pro 8 has some cool tech features which 9 doesn't have right now. Vegas 8 should be Vegas 9. I think that's why I deleted 9 because it's just taking up space. This one's registered, so I don't know. So, because this is one and it's going to take a while to start up, I'm guessing. Maybe, maybe not. Um, so, basically, these are just some settings. I can make a video on, uh, well, comment on the bottom of the video if you, if you want me to make a uh, Camtasia Studio 6, or it basically doesn't matter what version you have, but like the product um, on Camtasia Studio, how to uh, HD the crap. But if you edit it after, I'm not guaranteeing that it'll be the same. I, it's going to open some project I had before. So anyways, just to start, um, what I did, I have the file here. Let's just put stuff like that. Alright, so, um, first I like, for the background, it'll show you the quality. Preview quality. So you go best, and I think auto. Because if I'm just going with auto, maybe you think it's better, it's your opinion. go project VA pro so I already have it at the best so yours is gonna probably be like 720p by something else yeah um, and then by something so you're gonna go to HDV 720 p or whatever 120 by 720 that's uh, HD so that makes it go so basically uh, edit your videos after so you can have it in HD for YouTube but I'm gonna tell you editing in Sony Vegas makes the file boot work. So it just makes it just means that that's gonna take a while to render and to render to YouTube. Um, I'm not sure if you should put it to full screen. I'm just gonna say it should be full screen. So it works with the um, full resolution rendering quality best. Um, motion blur type Gaussian. Gaussian whatever. So start on the project. Oh yeah, audio, um, 5.1 surround is probably the best, I'm just going to say it like 5.1 surround is probably for the best quality of sound, uh, bit depth, 24 up, and 16 up, like that, um, and then resample and stretch quality, best, um, low pass filter quality, best, everything that's like talking about quality or quality of sound, you want that to be best, because that's how your video is going to out come, like why would you just put it to poor? You want to get everything to make your video good. So apply all these, okay. Um, then when you go to render, you can make your own template, but I don't know if I want to do that. So for some reason, this is going really slow and it's like freezing on me because it's recording. So go to custom. I already have the settings to my liking. You go to video and quality, I think it's the same. Um, bit rate. Um, okay again. Well you can make your own template, like whatever you like. And I'd go with WMV.WMV. So the that's the thing. So Windows Media V. So pretty sure you have that. So then you Don't click save video because that just saves it. Render video renders it so it's ready for YouTube and then you upload to YouTube and you're done. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this video helped you in somewhat because I don't know. Lots of people want to know this and this just helps it out. It's mm, probably the best editing program that's coming out. I've ever had to date. Thanks for watching. Comment below.